Hey everyone, it's me, Gucci Mink, back with another video. And as you can tell by the title, I am going to be using this new Street Taco Palette from Glamlight. And I'm also going to be doing a cut crease as you can see. So if you have not watched my other two videos, I did deconstruct how I do cut creases, winged liner and lashes. So if you wanna go ahead and follow along in this video, but you're not too sure about doing cut creases, definitely go watch those videos. I'll link them down below. But in today's video, I'm just going to be doing this one eye look that I have right now. And I'm gonna be giving my thoughts on this palette. So before we get into the actual video, I'm gonna show you guys that this is the box that it comes in. The back has a picture of what the inside looks like. And then it has like some information about the palette on the back. And their brand is vegan and cruelty free, which I really love. This palette comes with 10 shades with four of them being metallic and six of them being matte. Now for this palette, it retails for 22 US dollars. We do have some codes that you can use. So definitely check out that there's a lot of people with codes or you can use the code GLAD15 I believe it's like a universal code anyone can use and you can get 15% off so not only are their products really adorable they're I would say really affordable for the amount of product that you get it's pretty affordable and you get a discount code off of them so definitely check them out so definitely go check them out their owner is really really nice I follow her on Twitter and she's very supportive and super influential so if you want to support a more smaller indie brand in the makeup community that i definitely believe is going to skyrocket over the years definitely go check them out so without further ado let's get into this eye look i'm starting off with my eyes primed with the abh eye primer and then i'm going to go into the shade Rojo for my crease color now i'm going to pack this on in a more rounded shape for this cut crease look and i am using uh that shade on a fluffier pinched brush and then i'm going into the shade al pastor to blend that out a little bit more to give a gradient from my purple to get this look ready for my final color which is going to be our transition color and that shade is going to be called picante which is this orange shade right here now i'm just using that on a smaller detailed brush to blend it out and give a nice blown out look with a seamless blend from my orange all the way down to my purple. Now to give depth and definition to my cut crease, I'm just using this brown shade Carne Asada, and I'm using this as more of an illusion that my cut crease is deeper than the colors I've already had on. So I'm just using this to enforce definition, and then I'm re applying the purple to make it look like the purple is a little bit more deeper than how it is showing up on my eyes. So I'm just taking the purple back on that first brush that I took before and I'm just applying a little bit more so that the color shows up more vibrantly. Now in the next clip I am going to start on my lid. It's going to be a half cut crease and then we are going into the shade Limon right here this green one and for best results with the shade as i mentioned later on it's better to pack it than swipe and then for my outer corner i'm taking carne asada back on that small brush to give that outer corner definition and reinforcing the color being the purple on that fluffy brush again for my inner corners, I'm taking the shade Guacamole, and in person, the shade is really, really blinding. These shimmers in this palette are a little bit different than your average shimmers, which I really do love. With my face being on now, I'm taking Pat McGrath Black Coffee Liner in my waterline and blending Repollo Rojo and Picante on my lower lash line, connecting it to my eye look above. So as you can tell, I put on my lashes, I put on a lip color with lip gloss, and that completed this entire look. So for the end of this video, with this Street Taco palette being my first ever Glam Light palette, I definitely enjoyed it. So from their pigmentation, it's 100% there, it 100% showed up, and it was really beautiful. The only thing is for this green shade, as expected, I knew it wasn't going to show up exactly how I wanted on like the first application. Don't be discouraged if you don't get the color like in the pen. I would just recommend using a really white or a lighter eye base, whether that being a concealer or an actual like P. Louise eye base or the Anastasia one. 
those are going to make the color show up a little bit more true to the pan color and then another thing is really just patting and making sure that you're just patting on the eye rather than swiping that will give you a more intense application of that shadow so all in all this palette i feel like from all the other reviews that i watched about their palettes are really up to par from this being my first ever palette it was really good and i'm really excited to try some more of their palettes i want to get some i really want to get their cake palette and they are coming out with another palette soon so i'm gonna wait until that one drops to see what that one looks like as well and as always if you want to see more videos like this comment down below subscribe to my youtube channel turn on that notification bell and like this video it would really help me a lot so i am going to leave you guys with that everything will be in the description all of my all of my social media handles and all the products i use so on that note i'm going to be leaving you guys with what i say at the end of every video that i do love you the most